The resplendent DHL Stadium in Cape Town plays host to the final match of round two in the oldest and most prestigious domestic rugby competition on the face of the planet. This is the 2022 Carling Curry Cup. It's a north-south derby in the final match on a Wednesday evening. Of course, Curry Cup matches coming away all week these days, starting in January as well. The final will take place on the 25th of June. And thus far in the competition, it is the two powerhouses that lead the way. The Bulls in number one on points difference only, two points between them and DHL Western Province, both su successful in their first matches. Thanks to Bismarck, you can see they will retain possession. Marcel could see it now. The captain charging forward. Tackle! It's been all the visitors' game thus far in the opening stanza here at the DHL Stadium, and the Bulls are knocking on the door now. Mornay staying out to Veritiam over the line for the opening try. Well, energetic start from the Bulls. Veritiam gets the try. A fearsome sight. A tap and go. Well, directly into the contact. Muller ace. Unrelenting assault on the DHL Western Province line by the Vodacom Bulls. And Yanku Swanapul is finally stopped on the gain line. Matanzima again. Moves his side forward. Jansen van Fieden looking for the next target. And Mornay Stain floated out wide for Harold Foster to try to make a gap. Some space on the outside. What a finish by Kane and Moody. <laughs> Yanku Swanapool makes the shift to the front and they do set Cinefon. into formation this time again. The Vodacom Bulls Cinefon. after trying a trick play on the last line out. Bismarck Duplessis in control. But is he protected still by his teammates? Down they go. Advantage. And a penalty advantage again. The Bulls continue charging forward. Matanzima fearless in the carry. Here's Jansen van Fieren. Captain Kutsir, Jansen van Fieren again. It's electrifying rugby from the Bulls as they just keep the ball moving under pressure. Another penalty advantage. Oh dear. Number eight. It's a very poor technique to contest like that. Not supporting body weight. Yeah, that's the I've pressure. I've spoken to your captain about this it. This is all pressure. Keke Murabe to build up a penalty. And ball contesting. Set. <laughs> Stability. Ball forward fire. Ball is in from Jensen van Fieren. Slow progress this time from the team in blue and mother aced. Look at that leg drive. Over the line for the try. Simpiwe Matanzima. So that's the power. Again. Only one lecture. Simpiwe Matanzima crawling towards the try line. Advantage. Another penalty advantage to the visitors, and now they can play with freedom. Or they can just better their way over, which is looking like a very good option Only for the side in blue right now. Forward he goes again. Marcel Kutsir reaches out over the line, and the try is given. Okay, uh, Marius. Yeah. Okay, so um, if you've uh, the ball, the ball has been uh, placed forward. Yes. Um, if you have a grounding there, because I cannot disprove that there was there's an arm in the way. If you have a grounding there, then you stick with your on-field yes. decision. I'm confident that I've got a grounding, and then what makes it look worse is that the ball is then pushed back. But I'm confident that I had it on the first attempt to ground it. Okay, then you stick with your on-field decision. Thank you. Try given and Kyle Brink it is. Swanapool at the front, no contest from Western Province as they try to affect a strong drive against this rolling mall. They've missed out on the target area. Bismarck to Plessis. Nice and easy over the line. Another try for the Vodacom Bulls. The power the Bulls managed the initial hit. Vodacom Bulls consolidate their position and break again. Once more, DHL Western Province defending for their lives. Another penalty advantage. The penalty count completely out of hand now. Manjezi. Slightly upright on the carry. But it will come back for the Vodacom Bulls again. Marcel Katsia does not need a second invitation. 
here's Janku Swanepoel looking to muscle this ball over the line. Janssen van Vieren diving over the top, and it's another try. Yeah, patience, patience from the Vodacom pulls back. Tap and go is what they'll choose. Marcel Tienissen very casually so gets to the line. Over they go. The arm is extended. The dedication of DHL Western Province pays off and their captain courageous scores their first try. How quick was he to get that? Western Province come away with it. I think it was FC Duplessis and James Veridiam. Very difficult to handle and misjudged. And now it's Lights tapping it through. It's Moody against Lights. Lights in for the try. Okay. Again, in a difficult position as well in Daba. Really, as Anyani mentioned earlier, failing to get that go forward against the gain line. And as such, all of the players that try to get something going are running into. Wall after wall, a Vodacom Bulls defense, but now some space on the outside for Jared Taylor. Finds on the inside, Bercy to Sweel, Sweel. He's got supporters on the inside, and down to ground it goes. Knock on, an advantage to the Vodacom Bulls. A squandered opportunity, that one's going to burn. But Sweel was trying to get that ball away. Okay, so Maurice, I'll tell you what I'm seeing. Okay, wait for the camera on you, hang on. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm seeing. It's it's not a recognized leaning position. He's actually diving, he's leaving his feet in a dangerous manner. It's direct contact to the head uh, with a high level of danger. Um, at this stage, I can't see anything other but a red card. I agree with the facts. Okay, perfect. Be disappointed with that. It just there's so no need time. to do that actually. But sad way to end the game, I must say. Been tough, it's been physical, but it hasn't been dirty. Offside. Christopher Schroeder onto the field for province as well. Here's Tiernison. Release at 16. Paul comes to release Jared Taylor at the base of the ruck. He comes with the pick and go. The leg drive is strong. Again, a meter or so, and they set again. DHL Western Province head to the blind. Bercy off to Tiernison. Tiernison fighting for the line, and over he goes for the try. Schroeder. Straight and true. The flags go up, and the final whistle blows on the second round of the 2022 Carling Curry Cup. It is the Vodacom Bulls flexing their muscles on the top of the log, knocking off the number two team and looking ominous for the future of the competition for all opposition whom they may face. With four Springboks in their starting lineup, they showed precisely that level of class and they finished the match with a handsome victory 40 points to 21 at DHL Stadium in Cape Town.